What's up guys, Davey here from phonebluff.com and in this video I'll be doing a full on benchmarking of the Nexus 7 tablet from Google manufactured by Asus. So I'm gonna be doing a couple of benchmark tests. I'm gonna be doing Volamo, Quadrant, Nenomark, Linpack, CF Bench, and also a Browsermark benchmark. So let's go ahead and get started. We'll start off with Volamo and uh, I'll just kind of skip through the whole test so that way you guys can get straight to the results. So hit start and uh, I'll just kind of skip through it. All right, so the Volamo benchmark is done. We'll hit yes, and we'll get the comparison chart. So, I don't know if you guys could see that. It says, your device, or your score right over here, so it's right underneath the HC One XL, but right above the HC One X, and uh, it looks like we got, you know, somewhere between 1,500 and 2,000, probably around, you know, 1,750, and uh, we can actually see that. I'll just go ahead and hit um, last numbers, and yeah. 1746, so pretty good guess by me, but I'll just go ahead and let you guys see the individual scores really quick for each uh, category. So the uh, base score for Sun Canvas was 51, 91 for Deep Sea, 66, 103, and I'll just kind of scroll through so you guys can see each individual test the score. And I'll also post these on phonebuff.com, so if you didn't get to catch it in the video, then go ahead and hit the uh, link below to see the article. Now we'll go ahead and close this app out and uh, we'll run the Quadrant Standard or Quadrant Professional Benchmark, should I say. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and run full benchmark. There you go. So uh, I'll go ahead and let this guy go through again and let you guys see the score. All right, so the quadrant test is done and you can see the device scored a 3808. So a little bit lower than the uh, Asus Transformer Prime, which also has the same processor that NVIDIA Take It 3. The HC One X a little bit higher than both of those guys. Um, not the highest score. I was kind of expecting a little bit of a higher score, but honestly not that bad. Um, seems like, you know, the Nexus devices seem to score a little bit lower on these benchmark tests than some of the other uh, devices out there. So anyway, we'll go ahead and run Nanomark now. So Put it in landscape and again, I'll skip to the end so you guys can see the result. All right, so it scored a 55.9 as you guys could see. We'll go ahead and hit back and close out of it. Again, I was expecting a higher score considering, you know, uh, some of the other phones with the S4 processor, which, you know, technically the Tega 3 you expect to be more powerful, especially in the Department of Graphics, got a 59. So anyway, let's go ahead and run Limpack now. Limpack, I'm just gonna run a bunch of tests and let you guys see, you know, kind of get the feel for the average. So I'll hit run multi-thread. And I got 67, 138, 102, 140, 98, and 134. So kind of, you guys can see it's all over the map. Um, not consistent at all. I mean, usually, you know, it does jump up and down, obviously, but within maybe 25, plus or minus 25, this time I was getting like plus or minus 70. So I'm not sure if this app is optimized yet for, you know, this version of Android or this device in particular, but we'll go ahead and take those scores for what they're worth and let's run CF Bench now. So CF Bench, hit full benchmark, and again, I'll skip to the results. All right, so the benchmark is done. Let's go ahead and scroll down to the bottom so we can see the results. So uh, let you guys take a quick look at all the scores we got here. Let's go ahead and zoom in and kind of scroll slowly. For those of you guys who are interested, hopefully the camera focuses. Seems like it's not. Let me zoom out a little bit. There you go. All right, so I'll go ahead and scroll slowly through these so you guys can see the scores that I got for each section. And uh, down at the bottom, we got the comparison with other devices. So you can see the Galaxy S3 is right over here at the top, HC One X, and then it says your device. So the score I got was, you know, 20,611, then 5,675, and then 11,649. So pretty close to the HC One X, as you know, it's pretty much expected considering they have the same processor. Um, obviously this guy, you know, is a different phone, is running a different version of Android. So take those things into consideration, but that is that for that test. Let's go ahead and back out of here 
And let's run our last test, which is the browser mark benchmark. Again, same thing. I'll skip to the results. All right, so the browser mark benchmark test is done. And as you can see, it got a really high score, 131,451 using Google Chrome, which is obviously stock on the Nexus 7. You know, finally, I feel like we got a high score, uh, seemingly of, you know, what the device deserves. Because so far, device seems to be really fast and smooth. Obviously, everything with Jelly Bean is. But uh, anyway, that's it for me in this video. Hopefully these benchmarks help give you a better idea as far as the performance you expect. But keep in mind, you know, real world performance is a little bit different. I feel like the benchmarks were honestly on, on a lower side than, you know, what you'd get in real life. I'm gonna be doing comparisons with the Nexus 7 with some other devices like other Android phones and maybe even the iPad. So stay tuned for those. But if you found the video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.